Probably should have done a audio check. I think we are live. There you go. We're live. Boom. Abel's in. Abel, can you hear me, dude? Abel. Can you guys hear us? Oh, it's on like a delay. Let's get rid of this. Oh, what up, Brian? Let's fucking go. Sweet. It's on like a delay, though. Hopefully that fixes itself. Let me Able. just... You guys hear us? Abel's probably wishing he was here right now to do it. <laughs> you guys are idiots. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Can I click out on that? It's on like a delay, though. Hopefully that. What up? Tom's here. What's up, guys? It's our anniversary. Woo! Like, not me and him, <laughs> but the channel, our one year on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys checked out that video. Um, Abel crushed it. Like, it was awesome. Yeah. Echoing, so one year and two already, huh? Time flies. So, we're doing a live stream. Today, we're going to give away the um, Crimson Trace box. Oh, and if you guys don't know, this is Kurt. So, Kurt was a former uh, first group Green Bray mountaineering guy. So, while he's in town... Um, we'll do an 18 Charlie video. Yeah. We'll do a mountaineering video and beers and breakdowns. Oh, and then we'll do like three or four beers and breakdowns episodes. Um, that's going to be fun. I'm ready for that one. Yeah. yeah. So we got some good ones, uh, for beers and breakdowns. Um, but also Kurt runs the FNG Academy store. So anytime you're getting stuff mailed out from the store, it is from, uh, Kurt. So sick video. Thanks James. Um, so basically, what's going to happen is we're just going to randomly select somebody to get this uh, Crimson Trace box. And that's kind of like our thank you to you guys for um, sticking with the channel and being part of the FNG Academy for this past year. Um, I know I've been hanging on to this box for a while. Uh, so it's way past due to give it away to you guys. But first, um, I see he's in the chat room. Let's do this giveaway real quick. Um, Crimson Trace Hardline Pro Optic. This thing is sick. Ooh. So, ooh. yeah, buddy. Yeah. Kurt, you want that, right? Bro, yes. <laughs> oh, this is that sick. is awesome. All right, so this bad boy the hardline pro was sent over by crimson trace and this thing is sick yes that is a legit optic right there all right so who's gonna get this uh well, like we told you guys before the person was already selected they're always involved in the channel um whether it's on instagram whether it's on youtube whether it's with the store yeah. Um, on the forums, on the store, 
So as far as I'm concerned, this person deserves this and they earned it. So J Dub, congratulations, my man. Yeah, brother. You just won uh, Crimson Trace Hardline Pro Optic. So Tastes that be a winner. That will be coming to you. Um, you deserve it, bro. So that's a legit uh, prize right there. Yeah, this is sick. I think this is like. 1500 bucks or something on their website it, uh, it has to be yeah i'm okay. not sure but yeah <laughs> that's a serious optic so yeah. i'm sure it is and i think uh okay okay so also crossfit um this same optic is in the giveaway box so you guys someone else is going to be winning this optic too plus a bunch more I just wanted to, this one's mine from Crimson Trace, and I would rather give it to um, a follower who's been uh, so loyal. So, J-Dub, you're getting my optic sent to me by Crimson Trace. Congratulations. Um, oh, for you guys, guys are just coming in. Nothing's, the main box hasn't been given away yet. <laughs> so, right before we go out, uh, we'll give away the main box, but... You got our whole team in here. Abel's in the chat. Tom's uh, in the chat. Tom is a current um, Green Beret, still active, and uh, two former Green Berets. So let's answer some questions. Thank you, guys. I hope you watched the one-year anniversary video uh, that Abel knocked out. I loved it. I think it was so cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're working. J-Dub just figured out that he won the <laughs> So Hell yeah, J-Dub. Congrats, bro. Um, thank you for everything, man. I appreciate it. All right. So does anyone have any questions you guys want answered? Um, this is now your time. We're going to answer some questions for you. I'll spitball it. Again, just so you guys are aware, if you're just getting in, uh, Kurt is former 18 Charlie, um, former mountaineering guy, and first group. Yep. So if you guys have any specific questions for uh, him, and also Tom in the chat is active um, free fall guy still so if you have any free fall questions ask Tom or if Tom answers any of your questions in the chat just know it's coming from uh, a green beret all right so let's chef Brian <laughs> Dude, so you guys know the what's up <laughs> oh damn where to go no, right there when Green Berets get divorced, <laughs> is she still your sister? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, Abel sister. said, give away the Beamer. Comes with some fun comments from Andy Stone. <laughs> Just a, a man ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Transformers 2, as for a video topic. So, funny thing, we want to do... Um, because he was a mountaineering guy, we want to do a cliffhanger. Yeah. Steven so, Seagal. Or, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. That's an old school movie. Yeah. Some some of you guys aren't even going to know what that one is about. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we watched it for like two minutes and instantly Kurt was identifying some like huge errors. <laughs> super sketchy stuff. Super sketchy <laughs> stuff with the mountaineering. So that'll be one of them. Um, but we're definitely taking more recommendations for movies. All right, so Adam said, how do you think soft will look going into the new decade regarding combat deployments? Ooh. Um, so Adam, I think that one's a good one for Tom since Tom is still um, knee-deep in that fight. Um, but wh what do you think about that? So for me, so my experience was much different than yours, right? So um, pretty, all of my deployments were J-sets, so joint combined uh, exercise whatever, training, something yeah. like that. Um, so basically all we did was the traditional SF mission of going and being a force multiplier and training foreign uh, foreign nations to improve their capabilities, right? So I think moving forward, that's probably what it's going to get back to, honestly. I mean, now I that agree. Afghanistan's out of the mix, um, Iraq's been out of the mix, then we're just going to be going and we're going to be doing the basic SF mission of training other militaries and other, uh, other countries. Which is, how was that? It was awesome. We well, all right. So some of it was awesome. Some of it, um, honestly, we got kind of the bottom of the barrel. But some countries that we worked with was phenomenal. Like working with Nepalese Rangers and things like that. Like those are squared away units, 
and uh, going and training with those guys, like a, a J set, you should be getting as much as you're giving. And some of those guys, like the Nepalese, we were learning ourselves. That's you cool. know certain tactics too. So it was pretty cool. I loved it. And that's one thing I always try to stress on to you guys is like a Green Beret is always learning. Mm -hmm. So Kurt just said it. Like you go train with these other militaries, you're getting as much as you're giving. It's about that cohesion, uh, building bonds, and then learning from each other, and then bringing back what you learned yeah, for sure. to improve your unit. So that's pretty awesome. So yes, guys, there may not be as much combat, but you know what? The the Green Beret mission outside of combat is still badass, yeah. and it's still super fun. And that's that's not our main mission set. I mean, it's just one of um, many different mission sets that we have. So Right. Oh, the wife's calling me. Hey, we're live streaming. Sorry, it's negative. Oh, sweet. Okay, bye. Bye. Good. All right. Um, react to military video games. I don't know about that, dude. Mm. That's kind of like me. We'll, we'll give it a shot. For you guys, we'll give it a shot. You don't respawn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. What advice would you give to someone who wants to be a Green Beret and is still in high school? So, Dizzy... Helio, Helio, um, you're, I get, there's a lot of you guys that are in high school that want to be Green Berets, and that's absolutely a great time to be thinking about it. That's not too soon. Um, you're not out of, your, out of your element. Just focus on getting in the best shape that you can and trying to develop that mental toughness um, as much as possible through doing hard things, you know, whether you're signing up for um, half marathons or hard runs or um, – Anything you could sign up for to challenge yourself, you're just building that mental toughness. Keep working out. Keep your mindset right. Um, don't focus on all the negativity in this in the world in the news, yeah. and like really ingest a lot of good quality stuff um, from books, YouTube channels of people that you respect, um, and then surround yourself with good people so they keep you positive and keep you focused on what you're going to accomplish. And the last thing I would say is you decide if you're going to be a Green Beret. No one else does. So if you made that decision, stick with that decision and don't ever let anyone else's uh, opinions on that deter you from achieving your goal because you're going to have haters throughout the entire process. Yeah. Well, I would add one thing, stay out of trouble. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. You don't want to prevent yourself from even being eligible before you get to the right age, you know? That's a great point. Like, there's so many times, like, I get messages and people be like, dude, I had a DUI. Yeah. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Like, like, 10 years ago, maybe yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. But nowadays, no. Especially cool. now with no war. Yeah. They're not going to be so hard up for soldiers. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a shift. Is you gonna, It's going to go from, like, taking criminals, you know, kind of back in the day, which, no, you know, I don't have any issue with that, to, like taking golden boys yep so and you see that kind of ebb and flow with just the tattoo regulations as well like so there was times where you couldn't have any tattoos like that were visible in pts other times i knew guys that came in with tattoos on their necks tattoos on their yep. hands so you just just you know what they want changes all the time especially yep. with no wars going on it's going to be pretty restricted yeah so don't hope that you can get in on a waiver watch your p's and q's don't get in trouble um, and be ready to go favorite gun that, that one just jumped out. I didn't even see who. I get so far Favorite behind gun, on these. With regards to what? There's so many different so, like ways you could go with that. Kirian Walsh. So he said favorite gun. Let's say we'll just pick uh, pistol and then pick rifle. Uh, Glock 19. So okay. the pistol. Glock, I'm Glock guy all day long. Um, I love those like 2011s. Mm -hmm. Those things are sick, but they're heavy. Yeah. I'm a Glock guy because you just do so much customization and make it however you want. Yeah. All right, so when you're on the team, what was your favorite? Would you rather go with the M4 or the Scar? M4 all day long. Yeah, I hated the Scar. Here's, there's two things about the Scar that irritates team guys. Um, and this is why you see guys carrying a Scar where, like, you're an idiot. First, first of all, and uh, team guys that have carried Scars, you can get mad at me all you want. <laughs> you're an idiot. Because here's why. You have 762, yeah. dumbass. I have 556. Five, he has 556. Five, all the teams got five, five, six. If you run out of ammo, you can no longer <laughs> use my ammo. Right, dumbass. So stop carrying the damn scar uh, and 
you wouldn't want to carry different calibers. And your kit's just so much heavier, it's too. It's so much heavier. <laughs> Those <laughs> rounds are heavy like, as shit. I feel like, okay, maybe it looks cool in the pictures, but right. in real life, you're humping that weight. Like, yeah. that's all you. So all you anytime you see, like, an operator with a scar, he likely is on the fob, not out on mission, walked out, took a picture yeah. with it. And then went back to his, his uh, AR, which you know what, what does is, not stand for assault rifle. One thing I always said, yeah, right? It was <laughs> the buttstock on the scar reminded me of Ugg boots, and I hate Ugg boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see. Buck uh, Kiescher Aesthetic Corner said, Buck, man, happy anniversary. Much love from Serbia. Nice. Dude, dope. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Jay said... Abel, you are my brothers from other mothers. Jay, you the man. I Hell hope yeah. you like that optic, bro. Uh, do you think Green Beret mission will shift from FID to DA on hardened targets now that we're in power in a power competition with uh, Pierce, Adam, Zuckerman? Did we've always been doing FID and DA? Um, mm-hmm. It's just it it all blurs, man. Like unless it's you know a super top secret mission where they're gonna send in. Delta or Dev Grew, I mean, we're all kicking down doors and shooting. Yeah. Rangers are doing it. SF is doing it. You know, we're getting our gun on. I wouldn't say our mission is going to shift. I think there's other units that are more focused on that. That's their main mission set. Yeah. FID, stuff like that is our main mission set. FID, UW. And talking to Tom, like what he's focused on behind the scenes, like I don't want to talk, say too much because a lot of top secret stuff that he does, but um, which I don't even know about, but. He he's saying it's like, it's we're looking at electronic or uh, was it like electronic warfare? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be the next thing. The next war we fight is gonna be like shutting down systems. Yeah, shutting down banks. Or well, look shut- at when the pipeline went down. Right, stuff like that. That's like it crippled like half of the U.S. Right. Uh, Chedak, Cheda Jack three 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 said, "Do you miss combat?" Nah. Yeah, I got my fill. Yeah, like, it was fun, but once you like come to the terms that like you're not always going to be the on the winning side of it, shit yeah. gets real real quick, and yeah. and losing your brother sucks. And uh, so, no, nah, I don't I don't miss it. You know, thermal instead of nods is standard anytime soon. I don't know, man. Let's see. We need CCT to get involved in this channel. Get all this community represented. So Michael uh, Edelin is talking about PJs and CCTs. Absolutely. Um, our CCT, Tom and I's CCT, we had two, and both of them are amazing human beings. Um, and I would love for either one of them to get on the channel, and we probably will um, link up at some point. One of them was, he, he's, he's in the Air Force Times like every five seconds because he can't stop being <laughs> a badass. Uh Jay said, so does that. Ma- Masters said, what's your opinions on pineapples on pizza? Pineapple on pizza. I fucking love pineapple on yeah. pizza. Like, Shit's the best. Dude. On occasion. Not too much. But really? On yeah. If I could eat pizza, if I had one pick, every time would be ham and pineapple. Dude, I'm supreme all the way. Supreme is dope. Yeah. Especially that Costco supreme. Yeah. Dude, oh my Costco God, pizza dude. is a shit. I don't know what it is about Costco it's pizza. It's so good. <laughs> Sprinkle crack on it. All right, go to... Uh, there's one guy asking about J sets. Dude, it skips oh, down yeah. on me. Yeah, we lost it. So I can't. You went and rations drops tomorrow. Abel in here, like, what up? Dude, I'm pumped for the new wine and rations. It's That's dope. cool. That's so cool. Yeah, well, and then so Kurt, for you, for you guys, wine and rations, um, Kurt went and got like eight different foreign MREs. So yeah. each episode's a different country. It's awesome. It's awesome. Which it's cool, but it was <laughs> it was tough to film, right? Because with American MREs, I know what to expect. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, oh, I know what's in this, so we have all this talk about it. Yeah. With foreign, I'm like, I don't know what this says. You, oh, you can't read it. You, you open get, it. You can't tell what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is just mush, and some I that, have to eat it. Some of it was rancid too, yeah. man. I'm so glad I wasn't eating that. <laughs> that that fish. Oh, oh my oof. god! It stunk the whole house. I almost vomited. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's try to get these. Man, it's hard to. Frederick Nietzsche said, "How do we train compassion?" Mm. I don't. I don't know if you can train compassion. I think 
having empathy for other human beings and is something that should be deep rooted in everybody who has an ability to think. Yeah. Um, I think people who, who lack empathy and lack compassion are small minded and they can't think past their own beliefs and focuses enough to step into another person's shoes. So I think that comes down to, if you guys hear the baby, I'm on dad duty right now. Family's at the pool. Um, I think it comes down to a lack of life experience. Yeah. That's you know? what I was about to say. It's like one thing that you realize, especially when you get in the military or Green Beret or whatever, and you, you travel a lot and you get all over the world and just being able to get out and have those varying experiences and see how the other parts of the world live, like it opens up your mind so much and like you come back with a much deeper respect for other people, people, other cultures, all of that. Absolutely. So I think a lot of the people in my experience that I've met that have a lack of compassion or very closed-minded people, they haven't left. They they're like grew up in their hometown, never went anywhere. Yeah. And it's the people that you that get out and see more that are more willing to accept other cultures and other people. Agreed. Got deep, Nietzsche. <laughs> Freddie says, I'm from the Netherlands. Welcome. Nice. Happy Good anniversary, one. Harvey. Thank you, brother. Curtis, 762 in Afghanistan, used to be useful out past 500. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not like hating on all 762, right? We run 762 in a lot of weapon systems, the, the 240 762. I love that round. But when it comes to carrying a rifle on me, I don't want to have a different ammunition than the guys to my left and to my right. Uh, happy anniversary, guys. Thanks, Kev. I like your shirt. Thank you. He made it. Um, yeah. This was Kurt's first apparel company uh, before he took over um, F&G, the F&G line. So more of his awesome designs will be coming yep. to the F&G Academy. Let's see. I uh, love the content, Buck. Thanks, John. I there. hope whoever reads this is having a good day. Okay. Kelly, go SF. It's easier for back injuries. The baby. All right, guys. So my baby is starting to act up. So let's see. If you could restart, which soft unit would you join? Ooh, that's a good question. You've already answered that one. I I've already answered that one. <laughs> you hit it. I would probably go the same, man. I think CCT was pretty cool, man. And just to see like the breadth of just training that they get, they get to work with all the different units. I would agree with you that CCT would be a pretty stout job. Yeah, hands down. I, I mean, it's it's a lot. The training is a lot. Um, you get you got to do a lot of the the shit like in SF, like the dive school. Like a lot of people don't want to do that. CCT, you have to go through all that. So if you can deal with that, I think CCT would be pretty cool. What's up, Mama? <laughs> she's having fun all right so i need to go take care of my baby and spend some family time so let's get this wrapped up i want to do some giveaways um let's give away this crimson trace this is why we're here this is the happy anniversary so uh let's just pick someone random so if uh actually abel abel are you still listening can you hit me with a comment if you are you want to go through the box like see what's in there yeah and then but while we're doing that so, is Abel still in? Or Tom? I know Tom's in. He's answering questions. You want to put him on speaker? Yeah, call Tom. All right, so while he's calling Tom, I'm going to show you guys what's in the Crimson Trace box. It's like too big. So here's the Crimson Trace box. That thing is massive. Dude, it's huge. <laughs> Hey, Tom, what's up, brother? You still on? Watching. Are you on the live? Yeah, I'm on the live. All right. All right. Do, do me a favor. Now Abel's calling me. Um, hang on, Abel. We'll have Tom do it since we got him on the phone. Can you pick a random person to win this box? Yeah, I have a comment, sir. Let me look at the feed real quick and I'll swipe up. Yeah, just swipe up and grab someone random. You don't have to pick them now. Just put, the, put their name in the um, comment box. Tom, Tom, just do what I just put their name in the comment box. Look at you gonna uh, gonna uh on the phone until he does it. All right, so here's the oh, man. here's the box. 
this is what you guys are going to get. Let me break it down. So first thing, you get a pair of sunglasses. They are the Oakley gas cans. They say Crimson Trace on it. I think every Green Beret owns a, owns a pair of gas cans. <laughs> yeah, at some point, you have a pair of gas cans. Um, and then you have a little pack right here. It's pretty sick. So these are the Caldwell um, ear uh, protections. So they're electronic. They're like little earbuds, like the iPhone ones. But um, yeah. they're okay. sick, though. So electronic earbuds. Put it in the <laughs> All right. And then a case. I don't know what this case would be for, but you get this cool yep. case. I don't know what you oh, some cigars. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you put in this. Maybe your glasses. Is it a glasses case? Your, your flash drive that comes with yeah, it. <laughs> you, get, you get a flash drive. Here, you can put it all in there in your little Crimson Trace uh, flash drive. You get a hat. Oh, man, there's a shirt back there. A Crimson Trace shirt. And in here is something a Crimson Trace oh, man. knife, hardline knife. So that's coming in it. And then this, uh, is that who we picked? Yep. Kellen Clark. This is yours. And you're getting a water bottle. So congratulations. Oh, wait. Let's most forget. important thing. <laughs> Damn. Well, we already opened the optic. So you're getting the Hardline Pro, the same optic that Jay just won, um, is also coming with it. So uh, Kellen Clark was randomly chosen by uh, Tom. And congratulations. Happy anniversary from us to you. So hope you guys like it. Um, it's our way of saying thank you to everybody. And go check out Crimson Trace's stuff. It's pretty cool. So even if you didn't win and you want to pick it up, just know there will be an opportunity for a lot more giveaways. Crimson Trace is extremely generous. Um, and we will continue to give their stuff away on the channel. And I guarantee you more of you guys are going to be getting optics in the future. Is Kellen still in? Did he leave? Kellen, hit us in the comments if you're still in. I just gave that to a 16-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's never too soon to start stocking up on gear, man. All right, so we will find... Oh, John Bibbs says, did you do Sephardic? I did not get a chance to do Sephardic. Um, Sephardic Sephardic's a tough one to get. Sephardic's mm -hmm. like, not only is it hard school to get, it's, it's tough to complete, but mainly they want to... Um, keep Sephardic for the guys that are going to go to the Criff. Yep. That's our, our group did the same thing. Yeah. So, nah, we can't pick a new name. That would be messed up. All right, guys. I hope you like it. Please do me a favor and go check out, um, Kellen just noticed. Just noticed it's your B-Day. How did you notice that? Oh, damn. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kellen. Well, Hell we're going to birthday. Yeah. Well, he could drop his name once he realizes that he wins in the comment section. Thanks for coming, guys. Me and Kurt are going to start cranking out a bunch of videos now. So yep. we have to jump off this live feed um, and just know that you're going to have a lot of videos coming your way about 18 Charlie, Mountaineering, Beers and Breakdowns. Um, yeah, j -Dub. <laughs> Oh, and J-Dub, you bet, brother. I'm Congrats, glad you man. like it. Um, J-Dub, hit me up on Instagram and let me know where you want me to send the optic. And we'll try to get with the other winner. So thanks again, guys. I'm super excited. One year anniversary. Yeah. Go check out the video that Abel made. He put a lot of work into it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers, man. Cheers, brother.